Okay, now we're going to discuss about what are traits. Now, in earlier versions of PHP, if we wanted to inherit the properties of a parent class into a child class, we just had to inherit the properties by extending them, right? Uh, and of course, then we would have the properties and methods available. However, if we want to have the properties and methods of the inherited class into another one, we need to extend it again. This could actually create a chain of inheritance because you're inheriting one class to another and then another class into another one and so on. So to solve that, PHP 5.4 introduced a mechanism for code reusability. Those are called traits. Okay, so let's say there is a teacher class, which will be your parent class, which has got some of the methods, for example, teach. And we have a person class and I want my person class to have the method and properties of teacher. So all I have to do is just extend it. Let's say we have another class which is student and it has a method called learn. Like teacher has a method called teach, student has a method called learn. If I want to go ahead and, and in, use that learn method from student which is a different class altogether. Uh, because now we'll have traits in 5.4 and above versions of PHP, I can just use the trait and I can include those features. This student class can actually provide this method to multiple classes and one class can actually use the traits of different classes. So in this case if we have student it can get the uh, method of student. If you have another student you can also use its methods and so on and so forth. So you can actually uh, use the traits of multiple classes into one class and while at the same time extend a different class. So that's pretty useful uh, to use trait in that case. As you see that traits allow us to reuse the sets of methods freely in several independent classes living in different class hierarchies. So it doesn't matter where they live, you can just go ahead and use their traits, right? You can share functionalities for multiple classes as, I, as we discussed and so trait is also similar to a class but only intended to group functionalities in a fine-grained and consistent way. And uh, just to let you know that it's not possible to instantiate a trait on its own. So you just, so just like classes, you define class and then you use new keyword and then you can just instantiate it. You can't do that here for traits. So for traits, uh, you just have to use it using the use keyword. So let me show that to you by giving you an example. Okay, let's get rid of this for now. And to define a trait, like you used to do class and then the class name for trait, you'll use the keyword trait. And let's say you give it a name like say world. And then inside of this, you have a function, public function. And name it as say hello. And then let's say this just echoes our traditional stuff. Let's say is hello trait. Okay, and now since we've already gone ahead and created a trait, you can't instantiate it like this. You can't say new and then say world. Well, remember this. You can't do like this. You can't instantiate it like this. So, okay. So they cannot be automatically instantiated. You can see that it's not allowing you to, and it's saying that cannot instantiate the trait. So to be, you can just use them. You know, just have properties and methods you can use into another class. So since that is the feature of trait that you can use their method. If I want to use say hello into a different class, I can do that. I can say, in fact, I can just say class base use say vault so if you want to use it just use the use keyword and then just use it and then that's all you have to do I mean you can have different methods over here you can have like a constructor function which probably does something XYZ you know uh, but you can use this method uh, say hello inside of the base so if I instantiate base let's say I instantiate the base class and I say base new base 
and now if I want to access the method of from its trait which is say hello it will be available inside of base because I'm using the trait I'm using the use keyword so let's try that so I'll say base and then I say say hello and let's see what happens refresh there you go you can see it's hello trait and this class can also extend some other class and still use the trait so let me give you an example let's say we have class student or let's just say we say then keep the name as class teacher and then this could probably have a function say name echo teacher and then this can extend it so class base extends teacher now it has access to the same name also so if I want I can use it say name there you go refresh and there you go it's printing treat teacher as well so now my uh, base class is inheriting the properties from a different class and at the same time it is also using the trait the methods and the properties of the trait as well which is similar to the class but you can't instantiate it okay I think I think the trait is pretty clear to you now let me show you another example so let's say you have a trait called properties it has a couple of methods like get sum and get product and we also defining a namespace on top as you can see so now if I want to use it uh, let's say inside of person.php uh, I can just go ahead and use the trait you can even if it's a long namespace as we have discussed you can use aliases for that so you could actually go ahead and use its properties so you can see that now I'm using properties trait and then I'm using its method called get sum because I'm actually using its trait awesome